I think people often imagine that you learn everything you can learn about science in school. And what the research has told us, without any doubt, is that what you learn about science, technology, engineering, and math in school is only the tip of the iceberg. What we've realized is actually people spend a lot more of their time outside of school than inside of school. And it's all these rich experiences that have a huge impact on people's lives, their careers, what they're interested in, and how they become you know, productive citizens of this world. And all of that is happening in informal STEM learning environments. Informal STEM learning can occur really anywhere. You know, it can occur uh, in, in form, informal science education institutions like museums and zoos and botanic gardens. But I like to think of it occurring really in any aspect of daily life, in the grocery store, you know, looking at broccoli and cabbage and learning, wow, these are the same species. They're just, uh, you know, developed for different reasons. Um, you might learn them on a farm. You might learn it uh, at a baseball game when you think about the math that's involved and the physics that's involved with hitting a ball with a bat. So I think at its best, STEM learning is, is all around us. You can actually learn STEM everywhere. And that is part of its joy, and I think part of the reason it becomes a complement to what we learn in school about science. We can extend that through all these other opportunities to make STEM learning a lifelong experience. Well, I think traditionally informal STEM educators are those who work in museums or in zoos or botanic gardens, people who are trained to take sort of the basic science, technology, engineering, and math, and then kind of translate it, so to speak, uh, to people who don't have formal training in those fields. Uh, and as well, I think people who are um, in the community or people who know something about the world and who might then transfer that information to scientists and technologists and engineers and mathematicians. STEM educators are anyone who both questions what you think you're doing and also gives you guidance to what you're doing. So these can be people who are educators in a museum, they can be people who are after school providers, and I actually like to think of them much more broadly, so they include parents or caregivers um, who are helping their children learn about science in everyday settings. All those people you can think about as informal STEM educators. Um, we found that the parents are so excited about learning more about what their children are doing in, in the after school program in science, but they're learning science as well. Um, we know that they have a lot of experience that they may not identify as being STEM or being science, but just all the things that they can learn about science with their children in the kitchen, for example. We are in formal compulsory education for only 5% of our life if we get a master's degree and we live to be 80. And that 5% is front-loaded. So knowing how things work, why things work, knowing about your health, knowing what makes the environment better, knowing about climate change, these are all critical issues for us today. And learning about them outside of school is going to be the key to making the planet a better place to live.